Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today me and Mr. Cherry are going to be playing some Time Guesser. It's very much like Chrono Photo, which we've done before, and a little bit like Geo Guesser as well, but with historical pictures. Now, if there's anything that is about uh, fashion, we saw on Chrono Photo that I cannot do that. Clearly, I'm wearing knitwear and an Ikea bucket hat. So, <laughs> go figure, guys. Go figure. Um, but anyway, we'll get into it. Let's see how we do. If you do enjoy this video, though, guys, a like and a subscribe will be massively, massively appreciated. Now, we have here in front of us something that looks like Times Square in the time when it was... Uh, Pretty seedy, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure that's Las Vegas. We've got Nevada Club, which of course Las Vegas is in Nevada. I can't actually read any of that. I wish this was slightly larger. Why is this picture so confined to the screen? Let's, uh, there we go. I know how to zoom, guys. <laughs> I promise. Uh, but anyway, uh, we've got the hall here. Bingo. Lucky Star Club. We've got the Pioneer Club. That rings a bell for Las Vegas as well. Now we've got to kind of look at these cars. I'm going to try and take my time with a lot of this. These cars. What are they? Are they 50s cars? 50s, 60s cars? This is another thing. I don't know cars. <laughs> Old cars anyway. Really do not know them. Well, sorry about that, guys. Something was stuck in my throat. And, um... Jesus. Well, we are going on with the Bingo Club and Pioneer Club. Now, I'm pretty certain it's got to be Las Vegas, right? We've got to be in Las Vegas. Surely, surely. We've got all the flags up here. Weird thing that I don't see an American flag. Um, but I mean, Nevada Club. It's in English everywhere. These cars decidedly muscle American cars of that era. Let's go Las Vegas then. Let's go sometime in, um, I don't know, I think the 50s, I'm, I'm going to think the late 50s, we'll go for that, it's a relatively decent um, picture there, now where is Las Vegas, that is the, uh, the hard thing, <laughs> Las Vegas, where are you, there you are, right down south, I knew you were there, I knew you were there, um, and let's go, we'll go right on the strip, so... Here we go. We've got the high roller down here, the Mirage, Caesar's Palace. I remember watching all of this fly by on the Formula One this year. Very, very good race, in fact. A lot of a lot of slating of this race. But uh yeah, I think we'll go the, I don't think we'll go right in the center unless this has all been demolished. There's the strip. I think we'll go further down south on the strip. Honestly, in these, the uh the location isn't so important right next to the airport maybe we shall see and let's go 1958 and let's see let's see there we go yes come on 1958 and that location 9.4 kilometers away i wonder whether any of these exist to this day that would be really cool would it not uh paradise rocky chocolate mountain pizza by slice mm, the beef jerky store don't think that's the type of beef jerky these places were advertising at the time. So let's get on to the next round. Um, let's get the map down. So we have an image that's been recolorized or colorized in a very artsy way somehow. We have the Rue de Grenelle. So we are in French, Musée Mayo. Uh, oh, if I could read that, that would definitely help. I mean... I'm looking at this, and all I can think right now is France. But, um, well, obviously France. All I can think right now is Paris. Hmm. But it could be anywhere. Rue de Grenelle. It's just going to depend on how much time I want to spend on this. Although that checkerboard crossing, is that seen in France that often? Could we be in French Canada? I mean, we could be. This does look very much like France to me, rather than Quebec. These signs are very French. If you've ever been to France, you will have seen them. Same as these road signs, very artsy. I mean, in the UK, we just have a big plaque that we stick on the side of the building. In France, you know, they have a little bit of a style about it. Uh, but a lot, 
when I say a big plaque, just a big square plaque, whereas in France, it's got a little bit of a style about it as well. Rue de Orchel. Now, uh, pharmacy back Grenelle. I mean, we got Rue de Grenelle over here. So we're obviously in an area. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start searching through Paris and have a look. Let's see what we can do. Year-wise, though, this is obviously fairly modern. Uh, we've got a fairly modern car here. These are a little bit older, but they could just be older cars. That looks pretty modern. I'm thinking 2016, something around that time period. If I, so uh, health, no, health is Sante, so sale, I don't know. Mm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking 2016-ish. I think that's a good hedge. You know, it exponentially goes down the amount of points you are, the more years you are out. So let's have a look in here. Uh, obviously... Not exactly <laughs> amazing. We're going to have to search forever if we really do want to search this. Rue de Rome, Rue de Grichy. Uh, let's have a look. Rue Rame, Rue Davy, Rue Le Mercier. Is this, uh, is this a, a, a really famous Rue? Because, <laughs> I don't know. Rue Batignol, Rue Corset. Well, I'll have a look, guys, and let's see whether I can find it. So this isn't a Rue, guys, but I've just found my favourite place in Paris, I think. The Little Bastard. <laughs> wow. Interesting, interesting, interesting. The French don't mince words. That is one thing that you can say about the French indeed. They do not mince words at all. Honestly, I'm going to be searching here forever if it is, you know, in Paris. Because it's so... You have to zoom in so far on this map to actually see any street names like look at that let's just have a look for a potential crossroad somewhere where are we saying in paris though i think we're around the center these are old buildings so let's go around here we'll go again the eglise saint sulpice and we'll go oh yes rude <laughs> oh my god i did not realize that... oh so we have here what does that say then? Rue de Grenelle, 5961, going that way. Can't really tell anything off the streets. How big is Rue de Grenelle, though? It's pretty darn long. Um, that just says Rue de Grenelle. We can see that now. So Rue de Grenelle is the main road. We can't, unfortunately, see what that road is. That's the important thing. That's something de Ve, so something town. So we need to have a look... For a crossing road that says Rue de Ve. I don't think we're at the Place de, uh, de uh, des Invalides. I think Rue de Grenelle is gone now. Oh, no, it's still here. Oh, wow. Uh, well, we could actually look for Codec and Pharmacy back Grenelle. But, uh, yeah, we could also look for that. So I'll look for both of those. I'm going to go down the whole Rue de Grenelle and see whether we can get a perfect score on this one. Obviously, the year is going to be something else, but we shall check, guys. We shall check. I cannot find anything to suggest Rue de Gre... Like, Ve, something Ve. So I'm just going to put it on a crossroad on the Rue de Grenelle. Although, where we're looking, the road does turn a little bit. So that's why I'm going to put it that way. And saying we're looking south. Uh, do we have a codec around here? No, we don't. So maybe I'll look through again, looking for the codec and all of that sort of thing. But I don't think we're going to get it, guys. Rue de Grenelle ends there, so we're not there. Let's have a look at these crossroads. Yeah, we're not in there. Boutique, Albatross, nothing. Com cafe, no. Ah, again, yeah. It's going to be so difficult to find this. Oh, oh, okay. Pharmacy back Grenelle, Pharmacy 35, Rue. but I mean, I mean, that's our best shot, right? Let's go there, guys. Let's go there. Let's go, I'm thinking 2016, we'll try that, and I know this was a long round. I'm sorry about that, but it was, it was 1999. Wow. Oh, oh. 1999, I honestly just thought this was like like today <laughs> well i'm glad we didn't go like 2020 <laughs> good job we found the place though where actually was it? oh we were looking down the rue de grenelle were we 
Oh no, we, we're at this George Hogg area. So obviously 1999, it has changed quite a bit since then. But wow, now I know these cars look old. I just thought they were old bangers. Like in France, a lot of people tend to run a car until it dies. So I don't think that was a crazy guess. And yeah, it just looks like today, but location pretty good again. Pretty good again. So uh, let's go again, guys. Let's go again. Okay, here we go. Maitland Book Exchange. Right. News agency. We've got a parking side news agent. We do have a yellow number plate on the front. I don't know exactly where that would be. We've got a walking sign there. That is a sign that I personally have never seen before. Is that just like two legs? Interesting. We look like we're driving on the left. Driving on the left. Denture Clinic established in something 83. I'm assuming that's 1883, but it doesn't look like it there. Could it be 1783? If that's 1983, I mean, again, this is a relatively, yeah, we've got a relatively modern. I'm thinking late 90s, early 2000s for this one. But Maitland, though, uh, is this? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we're not in the UK. Let's get that out of the way first. Although, architecturally wise, it genuinely could be. I feel like we are driving on the left, but you just don't see road architecture like this in the UK at all. Like, what is that? You would not see that in the UK. Not modern day UK, right? I mean, we know this isn't modern. I'm thinking personally that this is New Zealand, but we could we could be dropping some points here, guys. Some serious, serious points. What do you think, Mr. Cherry? Yeah, he thinks we're fucked. <laughs> So uh, let's go for uh, New Zealand. Is there a place called Maitland in Christchurch, Dunedin? Let's have a look. It's very foggy. <sighs> I mean, well, let's let's have a look in Auckland. Is there an area of Auckland called Maitland? We got Ho uh, Cockle Bay, Narrow Neck. This looks very suburby. It could also very much be Australia. I'm just getting New Zealand vibes from it, but. Again, easily could be Australia in one of the older places. It's got to be, I mean, unless that guy's just parked on the wrong side of the road, but it's got to be left-hand drive, right? Surely, surely this is, you know, wrong. So definitely Australia. I don't think South Africa. We could be, we, we definitely could be in Australia. I'm just getting the New Zealand vibes, like the Maitland Book Exchange interesting the news agents all that sort of thing it's just giving me new zealand vibes so let's have a look in some of the sort of older places in new zealand the biggest cities that have been established for some time oh i didn't mean to press there hamilton yeah we're looking for maitland maitland also yeah, it's a very very australian or, or new zealand name isn't it uh let's have a look in wellington then Wellington, of course, very old uh, for, um, you know, the sort of modern architecture, if that makes sense. <laughs> Newtown, Vogeltown, Bohampton, Brooklyn. It does have very big names in here. Wilton, Karori, yeah, Arrow Valley. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think we're here, are we, guys? Let us uh, let me have a little scope around New Zealand, and I'll get back to you when I think we may have found some place here that it could be. One thing that's so weird about scrolling around these places, there's so many names that I recognize. There's places I live nearby. There's places, you know, that I've been to many, many times, but just not in New Zealand. <laughs> uh, the one place that is really sticking out to me, though, um, is Blenheim. Uh, was it Wellington? No. Where were we? It, yeah, Gis like Gisborne, for example. There's a Gisborne forest near where I live that I go biking in every now and then. It's a nice place. I'm sure it's uh, nicer in New Zealand, probably. Uh, no, it wasn't Blenheim. 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 It was Nelson over here, was it? Yeah, just... You know, on the South Island, there's a lot more Maori names, but there was a couple of places. Oh, it's Christchurch, I think, actually, yeah. But you can see there's a lot of British names on here. 
So I'm going to pop that in there for now. Now, the other possibility is, if we have a look over here, it could just be that the guy's name is Maitland. <laughs> we don't have anything else to... I mean, if we could read that, that would be amazing. Something West End. Something West End. Like, where does have a West End in New Zealand? I don't know. So I'm going to have a quick, cheeky look over Australia as well, very quickly. But uh, if it is us, uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's go for it. I've, I've got the feeling it's New Zealand. Could be completely wrong. So let's go. 1999, the year of partying. 2009, and it was Australia. Ooh, that was a poor round. Well, I don't think I would have got this place. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, it does have a rather large name on the map, but you have to be really zoomed in. And to be that zoomed in on Australia... Quite difficult to do, but 2009. Wow, that genuinely does look like you're going back in time from 2009. I'm sorry, people from Maitland, Australia. Are you sure that's 2009, bro? <laughs> like, it does not look like 2009. I probably should have known that sign, whether it was... But I'd never seen that in Australia before when I've been playing GeoGuessr, so... And I've been to Australia... And I don't feel like I saw that sign ever. So that's why it was, I was thinking New Zealand. But, you know, we got in the right area of the world and we got, as usual, many years off. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? <laughs> that fucks me up. Are you sure this is a real picture? Big Donut Drive. Obviously... We are in America, right? I mean, this has to be America. This looks, This is making me a uh, Culver Municipal City Bus Lines Big Donut Drive-In. Again, oh, what what were we on the cars before? What did I guess? Was it 58? And it was 58. So these cars, you know, early 60s, late 50s. Dining room. We're going to Culver Municipal. Let's have a look around, though, a little bit more. Any more detail? We do have what looks like potentially an Asian lady there. And if this is a long time ago in the US, that is probably going to be West Coast, I would say. I mean, complete stereotyping there, but we've got to take probabilities, you know, at face value, guys. I don't know what that is. And whatever this is, is just insane that if that's like that's a that mask is unreal honestly <laughs> so if we are west coast we've got a few options haven't we we've got los angeles we've got san francisco and we've got sort of portland oregon could we be west coast canada and there's a good potential of that um Oh, I don't know. Again, we're going to go early 60s, probably. Rental Zenith. We're driving on the right, definitely. We've got the US. Um, we've got the US style of traffic lights. I can't think of... I can't think that this isn't the US. This has to be the US. And I'm going to just have to hedge my bets. We've got palm trees. So we're going to just have to hedge the bets on the West Coast. We're going to go... Um, I think I'm going to go San Fran. I think we're going to go San Fran. We're going to go, uh, I don't know America good at all. So we're going to go someplace, you know, rather spread out. I mean, everywhere's spread out in America, right? So let's just go like out in Castro Valley. I mean, that sounds like it would be hilly. Let's have a look at the satellite. Yeah, let's pick somewhere that's not too hilly. This doesn't look hilly. It looks very flat. So... We need, like, a main road that's going past a load of shops. This? This could be it. Looks like a big crossroad, though. Let's just go there. And 1962. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll go. Five years off. It's 67. And it was Los Angeles. Wow. So, because it's America, we lose loads of points on location, even though we've got the right state. <gasps> and, again, just missing the time period. A photo taken on the set... Planet of the Apes. Oh my god. I did not even think about that at all. 
and it is a long time since I've watched that movie. I'm not going to lie. I watched that probably last time when I was like 15. <laughs> so like, it's been a while. I probably could have put that together if I'd actually thought, I just thought it was someone being weird. <laughs> just like someone wearing a mask and being weird like maybe i should have guessed it by how high quality that mask is because that mask is insanely high quality um but yeah we got west coast we got america how many points are we on now oh i don't actually know next round then let's keep going my friends okay we have jfk so we are pre when are we pre 1963 it's gotta be Funny, funny fact, guys. My uh, one of my relatives was actually in Cuba during the Cuban, miss- Cuban missile crisis on a navy vessel, and he was blockaded in as a British vessel, just along with the Russians. <laughs> they didn't let them, didn't let anyone leave. So uh, if everything had gone to uh, shit, there'd been a lot of people from non-Russia, well, from Cuba, of course, but from uh, everywhere else in the world getting blown to high hell as well. <laughs> um, but yeah. If this is, you know, swearing in, every the election is every four years. Nixon messed that up, didn't he? Did he? I feel like he did. You know, we got 2016, 12, uh, 8, 4, 2000. So 1960, 40 years, that's 10 presidents. That would make perfect sense. So I'm going to lock in 1960 now. Now we've got to decide where it is. And do we have anything here? Phil, uh, I mean, State House in Philadelphia. Okay. Let's have a look then. Philadelphia. Where's Philadelphia? I told you guys. There's Philadelphia. Good, 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 good. We got it. We got it. <laughs> I knew it was there all along, guys. Yeah. We've got to find the State House, though. It's This is America. Can you just, like... Stop sprawling everything, please. <laughs> like, why is it so spread out, man? Oh, Americans, please. We've got the university. We need to find, like... So this looks like the center. Philadelphia City Hall. Come on. City Council. State House, though. Let's have a look, though. I'm going to pop that... I'm going to just pop it, pop it, like, in there for now. With the city council, Centre Square Plaza. Oh, like, I feel like... Oh! John F. Kennedy Plaza. Hmm. Well, whatever it is, we're going to be close, right? And I'm going to guess 1960. Let's go. It was 62. Wow, I thought it was closer to swearing in. And location, we were not far away. What is this then called? That isn't called Independence Hall. I, I wouldn't have guessed that. If it had said the state, although Congress Hall, I probably would have. But we're in the right area. 9760. Very, very good score. Let's have a look. 37,756, guys. Not too bad for the first time. Let's have a look at a little breakdown. We were very close in Las Vegas, Philadelphia. We've got three America rounds then. This America round destroyed us. And, of course, we were close in Paris, but just... I think we were off on the on the year, weren't we? So, uh, yeah, 17 years off on the Paris one. That really did hamper us. So, let's exit the breakdown. Let's go again. One more round, though, guys. Hopefully, there's less American ones. This is, of course, Bent Dick Cucumber Batch. Hmm. Uh... We've got a mix of ethnicities here. Quite a lot of um, a mix. That's a very large camera, my friend. What are they holding out, though? Like, what is this around? Like, that looks like a Sherlock shot. So is, if this is around eyes opened daily. So this guy, is that is that something to do with Benedict? <laughs> uh, I, I've called him Cucumber Batch for so long that I can't even remember his mouth. It's real name. Star Trek Into Darkness. Now, when was that? 2016, 17, something like that. We've got actual cameras here. Lots of cameras. So, is that an original iPhone? 
That is an original iPhone. Now, the original iPhone was 2008. The other problem here we've got is the location. How do we get a location here? I'm thinking something like New York, London, could even be Hong Kong. It could be Japan. I don't think it's Japan. I really don't think it is Japan. This is this is in English. I'm thinking New York. It could be London. These people, though, let's have a look. Can we guess from the style whether they're British or American? Generally, I'm decent at that. Location-wise, though, ooh. Is that a map of New York on your phone, or is it just a design? This feels... Oh, I, oh, this is so, so difficult. Incredibly difficult. Well, let's pop in. I think with the phones and the cameras here, I mean, that looks like a more modern sort of Samsung, but not that modern. So let's pop in 20, 2012. Let's make sure. Yeah, 2012. Oh, this, this is really difficult. Like, where can this be? It could be Los Angeles again. Could definitely be Los Angeles again. I mean, if it's at a premiere, Paris Film Festival. Uh, I, I I have no idea, guys. I'm, I'm going. I'm going LA. I'm going LA. Um, oh, where's where's like good in LA to go? Uh, Long Beach. Let's have a look. Rolling Hills Estates. Mm. I really don't know where is good to go in LA. I don't know my LA at all. I try to avoid America on GeoGuessr. And most of the time you just get it in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so, there's Compton. I don't think he's in Compton. I'm not going to lie. Where's, where's like a... Where's like the... You know, Hollywood Boulevard and stuff up here, is it? I'm just going to plonk it in LA. And we're going to hope. It could be completely wrong. Hopefully we get the year right. 2014. Okay. And it was in um, Toronto, was it? Is that... that is... Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. Benedict uh, Cumberbatch taking a selfie at the premiere of The Imitation Game. Great film. Absolutely love that film. Um, but very interesting. We were so far away with the location, but we were very close with the year. So happy with that one. Wasn't much we could really glean for the location there. So let's go next round. Wow, we. Railway Air. That 100% looks like Britain to me. I have never seen a house like that in uh, in America. So now we're on the year, and we're also where in Britain. I mean, we've got snow. Back in this time, though, potentially snow everywhere, really. Uh, I'm thinking we'll go more east coast. When I look at these buildings, though, we've got red bricks. More prominent in the north. So... Where could this be, though? It, it easily could be London, though. These types of houses are seen everywhere in Britain, guys. Like, <laughs> literally everywhere. Um, but I'm thinking, let's let's just let's just let's just go for Scotland. I'm thinking somewhere like Aberdeen. We can't really miss too many points from the location here because Britain is very small. Um, so let's go for Aberdeen. No, not Aberdeen. Uh, I. <laughs> Don't think as far north as Inverness. I'm thinking like Dundee. Let's go Dundee. Uh, although Dundee is very hilly. Yeah, Dundee's a big hill. Aberdeen. I'm going back to Aberdeen, guys. We're going to Aberdeen. We're going Aberdeen. We're going on Stanley Street in Aberdeen. Hi to everyone from Stanley Street in Aberdeen. I assume none of you are watching. Um, <laughs> and let's have a look. I mean... It's got to be World War Two, guys, isn't it? Let's go 42. 42, height of the bombing. Let's go. Oh, you're kidding. It was London, was it? I told you those houses could be seen anywhere. Surprised by the amount of snow. 
But uh, we were four years off. It was 46. It was after the war. I wonder whether that's a famous thing then, because I've never heard of that. I mean, that plane has pretty much... It's not like crashed into the building, exploded. It's kind of like just... It must have been going relatively slow to not have disintegrated, do you know what I mean? And not destroyed the building. Very interesting, but decent score nonetheless, 8,000 points. A Dakota airliner which crashed into two houses in West London. Nobody was injured. Wow. I mean, we're pretty darn good with most of our points there, so I'm pretty happy. We should have just hedged London, though, shouldn't we? We should have hedged London. Princess Street. This is Edinburgh, clearly. And we're across the river. Uh, there's a castle up there. So we can work this out location-wise. Time, though. I've no idea. Is that Donald Trump's mother? I've noticed in this game there's a lot of Donald Trump. So <laughs> is that Donald Trump's mother? So we can maybe work it out based on that. Why am I going over there? We're going to Edinburgh, guys. <laughs> this time we've had a lot of Britain round. So that's been at least good, right? Uh... Where are we? So we need to find the castle first. I thought that would pop up, you know. There we go. So we've got the castle. Um, let's let's zoom out slightly. We've got the river. So the castle is up across the river. So we'll have to be on the other side. We can find Princess Street, can't we? Like, what am I thinking? Let's find Princess Street. It's quite far in the background, the castle. Uh, where is the castle again? I think it's easier if I just go onto satellite here, honestly. There's castle. There we go. So the castle is up there. Where, now, where did the river go? <laughs> oh, there's the river. There's a lot of trees around here. Oh, go back. I can't even see a river there. There we are, right. So the castle is there, right. We look like we're on the other side of the river. God, the river looks tiny on here. We're by a lot of buildings opposite. Some of the grand buildings. I think we might be looking that way, in fact. Wait, where... This is really difficult. No, we're looking that way. Right, let's go back to the river. Let's find... There we go. Are you sure that's the... It looks so small. Oh, we've got the river up here as well. I was looking at the wrong river. There we go. That's better. That's better. I think Edinburgh Sports Club. I think we're by the Crescent Gardens. Dean Village here. We've got a lot of these nice buildings across here. If I go on satellite... Hmm... This is honestly really confusing me. This is breaking my brain. <laughs> oh, well, the location doesn't matter too much, does it? We should be able to find Princess Street, but... We'll go near Murrayfield. Bit of rugby. Let's go. Uh... I mean, I feel like I'm getting this completely wrong, honestly. I feel like I'm getting this incredibly wrong, in fact. Hamilton Place... Oh, this just feels so wrong. Everything feels wrong about this. Where's the castle? It is the river, right? I'm pretty sure. Or is it just... Is it just a railway? Oh, dear, dear me. I'm sure we're on the... the where, you know, by the castle, by the big bridges, though. Yeah, I think we're around here. Let's go for... Somewhere around here. We'll just go here. It's fine. It's fine. We, we don't need to worry about the location, but let's talk about the date. That Sorry, guys. That that was breaking my brain. That's really broken my brain. I'm really confused as to where we are. <laughs> I've not been to Edinburgh for a long, long time. I mean, this style is not... I mean, you know, I, I'm just going to have to go off the, the picture quality. And I'm thinking, let's just hedge 1975. 1979, not too bad. Now, where were we? We were on the other side. Princess Street, Scott Monument. Yeah, it's just, it's literally the train station. 
Ah, that would make more sense. Princess Street, apparently quite famous. Probably should have known that. But like I said, last time I went to Edinburgh, properly went to Edinburgh. I've been through Edinburgh a couple of times recently, but not properly been sightseeing there for, for a long time. So, uh, yeah, interesting. We got some good points, though. So let's go next round. And we got the Planet of the Apes one again, which it was 68, wasn't it, or something? 68. And it was L.A. <laughs> so, a bit unfortunate we got that one twice. <laughs> Where in L.A., though? It was near Hollywood. And I, I've already... This is my problem. Like, I already have forgotten where Hollywood is. It's around here. Let's just go like that. And there we go. One. It was 67. 6.8 kilometers away. Three rounds. Feel bad. But I'm not going to restart the round now. We're on round four. And this is, of course, looks... Well, not of course, but it very much looks like the Berlin Wall. <sighs> Are we going to really go like 19... When was the Berlin Wall destroyed? Was it 1991? <sighs> yeah, this is the problem, you see. Remembering things that happened a long time ago. Berlin Wall Memorial. We're just going to go by the Berlin Wall Memorial. And I'm going to go 1991. That's the best I can give you. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I knew there's 1989 and 1991 are two very uh, big, big, uh, big dates. Right near the right bit, neither near the Reichstag. Final score though, 42,570, guys. Very nice. I think that's a very good score. You know, we could have got a lot more if we went London. That Benedict Cucumber Batch one. Like, we definitely could not have got. And we were so close with all the years. After the first round, we were really far off with the years. Very good. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I love this game. It's really good fun, isn't it? Hope you did enjoy. If you did like the video, do make sure you like and subscribe. It really will help the channel out. And I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you very much from me and Mr. Cherry. And I will see you all again on the next video.